Welcome to our WDs R8 to 1 multi-channel fiber photometry system instruction video. This video is divided into three parts, instrument introduction, instrument installation, and software operation. First of all, we would like to introduce the instrument to you. Fiber photometry systems characterize neuronal's population activity by recording the fluorescence intensity changes of neurons in a specific brain region, which enables stable monitoring of population neurons in free-moving animals over a long period of time, and thus exploring the correlation between neuronal's activity and animal behavior. Next, we will demonstrate the installation of the instrument. The composition of the fiber photometry system circuit is shown in the video. First, Connect the host power supply and computer power supply in sequence. Connect the host and computer using a USB 3.0 cable, which is internally labeled blue. Note that when connected to the host, the computer must be connected to the port on the left side of the keyboard with the USB 3.0 sign. After the hub is connected to the power supply, Connect it to the USB port on the right side of the computer with a data cable. Plug the computer mouse and USB dongle into the hub. The system is paired with a behavioral camera and camera holder. Plug the camera cable into the camera connector and tighten the screws on both sides. The other end connects to the USB port on right side of the computer. Clamping the behavioral camera to the camera holder, connect the fiber to the interface. Note that the bulge of the fiber connector needs to match the gap of the host and tighten it. Fiber photometry system wiring is connected as shown in the video. After connecting the wiring, you can start using the software for signal acquisition and data analysis. Turn on the power switch and the computer. Open the integrated software, which is divided into two parts, photometry and analysis. First of all, Let's look at the photometry part. Click on the photometry. In the software connection process, we'll have a self-test function. If the wiring is connected correctly, the software will automatically enter the photometry of the interface. The photometry interface is mainly divided into three areas. The left side is about the parameter setting area. The middle is the data waveform display area. And the right side is the behavioral data acquisition area. Let's look at the left side of the parameter settings area. First look at the light settings. Our 820 one multi-channel fiber photometry system has three different excitation light sources among them. 410 nanometers is mainly used to collect the control signal. 417 newton meters is mainly used to collect the green fluorescence signal and 560 nanometers is mainly used to collect the red fluorescence signal. The R821 has a total of six different light source excitation modes. The first three modes are continuous excitation modes, which are mainly used to detect the power at the end of the fiber at different wavelengths. The following three modes are alternating light pulses from different light sources, which can be selected according to the different types of viruses used in the experiment. Take the last mode as an example. After selecting, set the power of the corresponding light source. 470 newton meters and 560 nanometers, these two channels are recommended between 10% to 50%. 410 newton meters as a control signal, the recommended power between 10% to 15%. If the fluorescence signal is small, it can be adjusted upwards as appropriate. The following sequential function is mainly used for long-time signal acquisition, and you can set the time of each duration and interval to effectively avoid the occurrence of photobleaching effect. The following is the channel settings. Click More, set the camera frame rate. The selection range is 10 to 250 FPS. In general, we recommend between 60 to 100 FPS. Some pharmacokinetic faster probes can choose more higher. We take the 60 FPS, for example. Pull the exposure duration to the maximum, pull the gain up, and aim the end of the fiber at the external light source. You can see a clear spot on the screen. 
Adjust the spot to sharp edges by adjusting the focusing knob on the host. Place the green ROI area in the center of the spot, which should be the same size as the spot, or slightly smaller than the spot. Avoid framing the outer black areas. Turn the channel settings to the 560 nanometers channel. Again, place the ROI area in the center of the spot. Pull the gain back to the minimum and click confirm. If you need to study multiple brain regions or animals at the same time, you can see multiple light spots in the screen after connecting a bundle branching fiber optic patch cords, multi-output fibers. Aim the end of the fiber at an external light source and adjust the spot to a sharp edge by adjusting the focusing knob on the host. Sequentially align the fibers to the light and place the ROI area to the center of the spot. The following is the event output settings. Click more. The system has a variety of marking functions. First look at hardware. Also called automatic marking means that the system can accept TTL signals from other instruments for the event automatic marking. After checking the corresponding input port, select rising or falling edge. If there is more than one channel, select the application channel and you can customize different event marker colors. The second type of marking is manual marking, which is required when the animal performs some special behavioral actions that cannot be recognized by the behavioral camera. We can fill in the names of commonly used event markers ahead of time and just pick them when we do the experiment. Similarly, selecting the application channel and customizing the marking color, manual marking can also be marked with hotkeys. Third, the system can output TTL signals to other instruments. Check the corresponding output port. After setting the delay time, the system will output the TTL signal automatically according to the settings when the delay time ended. You can also choose that when the delta F divided by F of the fluorescence signal in the channel is greater than the set threshold, the system will automatically output the TTL signal according to the settings. Clicking on Output Settings, you can set the frequency, pulse width, and duration of the output port. After all the parameters have been set, click Preview. It is recommended to preview for 5 to 10 minutes before the formal experiment. The system can make the baseline more stable after warming up. On the right side is the Behavioral Data Acquisition Area. First, we need to connect the camera. Click More and select the appropriate frame and resolution in the camera settings. Aperture and focus by adjusting the knobs on the camera. The video can also be adjusted to the right brightness by adjusting the gain. Click Track Settings and check Behavior Tracking. Select the appropriate tool in the area settings and box out the area according to the experimental situation. Check the preview and adjust the tracking setting to only recognize the experimental animals. If you want the system to automatically mark when the animals enter the special ROI area, you can check the box of the special ROI area to be studied. You can also set the ROI name, channel, event color, and output port, and click Confirm. Select the appropriate save directory to start the experiment. Click Photometry. The experiment can be switched to select the original or delta F divided by F waveform to view. You can also use the merge display to combine the waveforms of different color channels under one axis. It's a good way to better compare the waveform changes of different channels. When the system receives TTL signals from other instruments such as optogenetics, it will perform automatic marking. Manual marking can also be performed by clicking the button on the software or the hotkey. The system will also automatically mark when the experimental animal enters the special ROI area. When the photometry is finished, click on Stop. After photometry is ended, enter the analysis interface. Import the acquired experimental data if there is a video recorded during photometry. The system will import the data and video together. The imported data can be separate display or merge display under the same axis. It could be better compare the signal changes of different channels. In the brief part, you can see the basic information of this data including light, frame rate, channel, and duration. 
The data can also be clipped according to the experimental situation, and the clipped data can be saved separately or imported directly into the software after savings. The newly saved file will not overwrite the original file, so you can feel free to use. Data preprocessing is performed next. Choose the signal to be processed and choose the control signal. The software can perform data processing such as smoothing, baseline correction, motion correction, etc. Each process can be viewed in the trace and saved as a CSV dot file. The system can also perform signal peak statistics, select statistics duration, MAD duration, and threshold. MAD refers to median absolute deviation. After taking the median twice, this median is used as the baseline. And only data that exceeds the set threshold is determined to be a peak. Set the min peak distance, select the statistics channel, check show peak, and click count. The system can automatically count the quantity, frequency, and peak means. The data can also be saved with one click only needs to calculate the significance p-values. Data pre-processing followed by event analysis. Click show all events to see the all event markers. Click on the video to play or drag the signal progress bar. The data signal and video will be synchronized playback. Video can be played back frame by frame. When we need to mark manually, you can add or delete event markers in the signal data at the corresponding time. According to the special behaviors made by the experimental animals in the video and carry out manual marking correction, check the event markers you want to see and set the time interval pre-post the event according to when the event occurred. Click plot to generate a fluorescence heat map and corresponding graph in one click. Related data and images can also be saved and used with one click. Click save and the generated file with trail suffix is used for the next analysis. After processing the data for a single experimental animal, the next step is to make comparisons between groups. Click on the heat map to import the groups of data processed in the previous step. Here we simulate three groups of data imports. Actually, each group can import the data of several experimental animals. Click plot to generate a fluorescence heat map and corresponding graph in one click. Similarly, related data and images can be saved and used with one click. The software also provides area under curve AUC calculations for different groups. Select the time interval of the event to be counted. Click on calculate to have the results of the area under curve. Since the starting point of the curve is different for each group, the reference Y value can be customized to ensure more accurate statistical results. Data can be saved with one click and only need to calculate the significance p-value. The following trajectory analysis. Import the track data. The software can automatically generate the track heat map and trajectory curve graphs. Click on Open ROI to see the start time and duration of the experimental animal's entry into the ROI areas. Similarly, related data and images can be saved and used in one click. This is the full description of the fiber photometry system. Thanks for your time.